Well, happy Saturday, everyone. Hopefully you had a chance to get outside today and take in that nice weather. Lots of sunshine out there after a cool start. Temperatures were pretty comfortable this afternoon across the area, and you can see now that the sun is setting here, we're getting those clear skies and with the winds fairly light, these temperatures are going to drop off fairly quickly as well. Let me show you what's going on out there now with the temperatures. Low to mid 40s currently in the mountains. We've got uh, 50s, a few low 50s showing up across the upstate with a couple of 40s starting to show up as well, and that's a sign of what's to come over the next couple of hours. Again, live Super Doppler 4 HD showing us quiet conditions, no precipitation showing up there. In fact, we don't have any clouds showing up as well, so there's nothing to really keep that heat locked in for us tonight. So that's why our temperatures are going to really drop off as we go throughout late this evening and into the overnight hours. High pressure to our north will continue to slide away, but it will give us one more clear night and one more clear start to the day on your Sunday. Then our next storm system begins to organize out to our west. It's in its beginning phases of organizing, but as we go throughout the next 24 hours, you'll see showers breaking out along the Mississippi River, and that will start to stretch our way so that by Monday morning, we'll start to see showers building in from the south and west. This is going to be a long and ahead of a warm front that's going to be moving in from the south, and that'll move through during the day on Monday. So often on periods of scattered showers will be possible. The actual cold front itself will not actually move on through the area until about Tuesday. So we'll have a chance of a few showers early Tuesday as that front moves through. But look at this. Then another storm system will try to develop over the area on Wednesday. So another Wet day looks to shape up for us again on Wednesday with system number two, and this one we'll keep an eye on. Could see a few snowflakes mixing in on the back side of this in the mountains as it wraps up and moves out of here on Thursday, but overall looks to still be mainly a rain event, but we'll keep an eye on that. As far as temperature trends go, again, we've got some mild air to the south and west. That's going to really stream our way as we get towards the, the beginning of next week. By Tuesday, we're looking at some of the warmest weather of the week. Some of our temperatures will approach the 70 degree mark as we get into your forecast for your Tuesday. So that'll be fairly nice with a little sunshine showing up as well. But don't get too used to it because we'll get another blast of cold air just in time for the end of the week heading into the upcoming weekend as well. And as far as rain chances go, again, we're looking at those chances on Monday, then again on Wednesday. And overall, about an inch of rainfall is expected across the area with some locally isolated higher totals. Now tonight we're looking at mostly clear skies with light winds. We'll have those temperatures dropping below freezing, upper 20s in the mountains, lower 30s across the upstate, and Sunday will feature sunshine to start with those clouds building in in the afternoon, upper 40s in the mountains, lower 50s across the upstate. Here's your four day plus that good chance of showers on Monday, and then system number two arrives on Wednesday. We'll get near 70 before that, and then blustery and cooler as we get towards the end of the week into the weekend after we get all the rain chances to move out of the area.